picked it up right off the bottom. One of the smaller ones out here. I think it's one of the smallest ones that I've seen. Just a little two pounder on that trench hog. Right in the corner of the mouth, like it should be. Beautiful. Look how clean she is. Nice. Instantly picked it up. Using the drag on this big guy. Fucking hell. Gorgeous white bass. Oh man, they're beautiful out here. Yes. <laughs> yes, come on now. Easy three and a half. Gorgeous. Starting to fatten up. Nice fish. Look how beautiful these fish are. This big white lake out here. I'm sure it's man made. But it's been out here for a while. Look how beautiful these fish are. Look how, look how nice they blend in. Boom. <laughs> well, I lost him, but that was about a six inch bass on the Mondo. Goes to show, even little fish will take a big bait. Just gotta work it right. It's crazy. Fish or a bait twice its size, and he went for it. Oh, had him. Picked it up and he dropped it. I waited too long to set the hook. I'm looking nice. Hopefully, I didn't scare him off. baby oh my goodness second time good lord look at that he's there have to change the presentation to a uh, trench hog because he's seen this one a couple times already switching it up tossing a June bug colored trench hog Perfect. I thought purple should be a really good contrast in this water right here Start walking down the bank. You look out where the
the water gets real dark, it's clear the, the silt and the sand, you can see it, it's real light and then it gets dark. That's where the water drops off. That's what I'm fishing. If you look, that big bend like that, I'm looking in front of this grass where it bends and where it drops. That's where these bass this time of day are going to be sitting because it's so hot. They're looking for the deeper water, looking for a bluegill, little minnows, little crayfish, anything that's swimming by them to attack and just jump down real quick. So that's what I'm, that's my theory. And I've been getting the bites doing that. slowly bounce it off the bottom especially with these trench hogs and anything with appendages on it you guys can see it moving right now those lights moving in the water they flutter so when you just drop it just bounce it so let's sit for a second just bounce it they're there and they're hungry so we'll take Day update. It has definitely been a grind to say the least. It's been hot. I got out here late so I didn't expect anything crazy. Um, I had a couple nice hits. I lost a few. I had that nice one over there on the second spot. I'm back to the first spot where I saw those bigger ones. Hopefully because it's the sun is not directly up right now maybe they're willing to hit. Who knows? I don't know. But we're here. We're trying it out again. We'll see what happens. Hopefully. Hopefully they'll take the plan is just to walk down the cer down the uh, the bank right here. Just hop in it very slowly and see if I can get it in front of one of their faces. Hopefully. boys and girls that's all I have for you guys today I was only able to land those two bass um, I had a couple hits on the worm and a couple more on the bandito but they didn't stick um, the first spot I saw a couple really nice ones that followed my chatterbait all the way up to the dock I mean all the way up to the dock and I would pitch it back out and work it slower and he'd come and he just knows it a couple times but wouldn't engage I guess that spot you need some live bait from what I was told. I guess either live shiners or big eight, nine inch tilapia. So probably go out there again with live bait, see what we can do for you guys. But that was it. We tried. We uh, first time fishing there. I've uh, never actually fished that spot before. So I was it was a learning curve for me. But if you guys like, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe. Share with your friends, hit that notification button so you can get notified when I upload a new video. And until next time, stay tight.